Hey Ralph, we got a lot of people talking smack on our social media. I don't know if you've seen the comments, but they've been talking smack about the way we do our headers on our doors. Oh my God. They don't know what they're talking about. If y'all's one of the folks that's in there talking smack about that, if you've been in construction, you already know, where do you put headers? You put headers under load-bearing walls. Now you can overkill it and put headers, two by 10, two by 12 headers on all your door openings, but our plans, we design them, we custom design them in a way to where it matches the client's desires and needs. In that particular case, the trusses ran from front to back. The load points were on the exterior walls. None of the interior walls are load bearing. They were engineered that way. We have engineered letters. So with our clients, they would rather spend that additional money getting that quartz upgrade or whatever that is. You got a lot of folks arguing over anything. They go argue over this. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. And if you do, go to your job sites, show where you're wasting $2,000 or more putting headers in that's absolutely not required and then explain to your customers why they can't use that same $2,000 for the upgrades that they really want.